let's go ahead and get into this. If you're watching this on YouTube later, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, enjoy enjoy my reaction. I'll see we'll see what's, what's what's going on. Uh, Pom Pom's not here yet. <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. So we're going to make an announcement. Are we switching routes again? So what came up? Are we switching routes huh? again? But I only just finished packing my bags. I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of Panacone! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel, but before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Asdana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. The memorial, okay. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucinations, distorted memories, or any other symptom, you should take them seriously. Right, Paimon. Second, pom -pom, Paimon. Oh. is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Uh, Horlis1, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day and hope you enjoy the stream. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. I want to I wanna throw something out there, because this happens quite a lot in HSR's dialogue. Um, they throw in, like phrases, turns of phrases and things like that that are clearly from Earth and um, the only one that we know is from Earth like actual, like who would be from Earth is Welt so the fact that, you know March even knows that phrase it's very questionable Rome? Uh, anyway. yeah, Here see, Pi was like, Rome Note, I have not done March's story quest, but maybe I should have done mine now. I don't know. Um, yeah. So maybe it's like, yeah, she's actually also an Earthling. Oh, snap. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. No, it just means the like Earth clearly managed to create a lightning bolt. No, because like Earth, Earth canonically like exists in another, like, in another branch of the Konkai verse, but you know. It's a joke. Well, I don't like your joke, Ken. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, allow me to explain. Okay. Just like I'll most of it. the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Wouldn't that have been thousands of years ago? <laughs> Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. I wonder if that Robin's going to be a nameless. Wouldn't you agree? Or the descendant of an... I wonder if the whole Harmony family might even be a... Even if they left the stars behind them, Switch their the trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, That's a the little strange. people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina. 
the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Strange. Tiernan, legwork, and Rosalina. The guard, Tiernan, the mechanic, legwork, and the surveyor, Rosalina. Okay. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Yes. Yes, it will, March. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump! There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Speak with the crew often listen to the newest international peace broadcast. Let's listen. Welcome to the international peace broadcast. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. The IPC and the Sianzhou Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. Interesting. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert I. The ruins rank as a Category Omega site on the Potential Disaster Index. That sounds like a bad thing, actually. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. The Garden of Recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. The precious memories of this world will not be forgotten. Let's take a closer look at the details. Regarding the IPC and the Sienjo Alliance, the Sienjo La Fu has opted to renew the trade agreement. The agreement will help to open up markets and promote cooperation between the two sides in agriculture, industry, medicine, and culture, laying a solid foundation for a free, open, and prosperous business environment. Mm -hmm. At the signing of the agreement, friendly talks were held between Madame Yukong, Skyfire hey Helmmaster of the La Fu, and a representative of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The two sides reached a consensus on various issues, including the impact of interstellar security on the free market. The IPC also expressed their heartfelt concern for the law firm regarding the recent invasion by the Antimatter Legion and sent their condolences to the victims. Aw, oh, that's so sweet of them. Good job, corporation. Good job sending out your corporate the IPC shill. strongly condemns the barbaric atrocities committed by the Antimatter Legion and conveys the Amber Lord's wish for preservation to all worlds ravaged by that wretched... It's so crazy that IPC's um, Aeon is the preservation across the universe and one of them the mechanical emperor too has captivated the interests of countless people since its discovery the excavation of the tomb is led by the head of the armed archaeologists of the intelligentsia guild Alan Drake one-armed Jones with assistance from genius society members Ulam. it is hoped that the excavation of this metallic relic which holds a category omega ranking on the potential disaster index will finally shed a straight up said Alan Drake nature. according to records of the Emperor's deeds left behind by the inorganic Legion the original purpose of the site was to house the inventions inspired by the imagination of Rupert the first a spokesperson for the Intelligentsia Guild said, We have no way of knowing what amazing discoveries Jones will uncover, but we are... This sounds like a really cool, like, side story eventually, right? Like another, like, side planet we go to for, like, a like a two or three maps and there's, like, a world boss. Uh. The 
interstellar peace broadcast will be covering this story throughout the excavation. Or shit away for the uh, simulated universe to do a. Uh... The planet. Oh, they're already doing Golden Gears. Announced that it will invite renowned singer Robin to perform at the Charmony Festival. Once every Amber Era, countless followers of the Harmony will attend this long-held tradition of the Planet of Festivities and together pray for a brighter and better future for the universe. Robin is a superstar whose voice is known throughout the cosmos. She has been the recipient of in the um in the live stream. They were talking about how Robin is in the top is the top 120 artists in every slot. <laughs> Broadcast the entire event, sending the sounds of music and good wishes to world. Like on a chart of top 120 artists in all of the galaxy, Robin is literally all 120 of them. Like all of her songs, the top 120 hits. Igniting the spark of revival across the cosmos. According to reliable sources, thanks to the efforts of the memo keepers, all memoria fragments of the dead world of Moonshield have been salvaged. Moonshield was destroyed during an invasion by the Antimatter Legion, but with the combined efforts of the IPC and the Garden of Remembrance, the collection of information about the fallen world was recently declared a success. The memo keepers planned for it to be reborn in the pristine land of the Remembrance. The destruction can destroy any material thing, but it can never take away our hope. The IPC will provide whatever support and protection within its means for the long-term development of all civilizations across the universe. I mean, I'm sure the destruction could destroy memories. If push came to shove, it's just the remembrance, you know, it's just a difference of power between the two Aeons, you know, they'd be fighting. It's like an unstoppable and unmovable kind of situation. I think that's it. Just be sure. Peaceful prime time. Nice. I got an achievement. I'm glad I sat there and listened to it because I got an achievement for it. So anybody who didn't sit there and do it and listen to the whole thing and you, if you didn't get the achievement, I don't know if you get it just because, but, you know, if you sit there and listen to the whole thing and you get an achievement and you didn't get it, well. All back and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. <laughs> Let's enjoy it. Well, it's like, ah, nothing can go wrong there, which sucks. So, yeah, you seem disappointed. Of not. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. I highly doubt this is the case where nothing's going to happen. Come on, Will. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Has he, though? You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. Of course, I'm the mature adult type. <laughs> a punchline with a straight face. I suppose that's your specialty. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. <laughs> Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Uh-huh. Why are we taking a vacation again? Oh, come on. My character's mindset is, aren't there still problems in the Lao Fu that we could still definitely be helping with? No? Okay. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the Express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Again? It's fine. I respect Thank your sister you. as well. It's reassuring to know we're on a similar wavelength. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, 
I'd advise double-checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Wait, is he staying back on the Zien show? Is Better that to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. No, well, that answered my question. I was, I literally was like, are there still some things on the Zien show we got to deal with? And he's like, yeah, but don't worry about it right now. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Also, where the fuck is my room? We still don't have our own room. That's what I want. All, all these qualities of life is great. I want my own room. Camera, check. Extra clothes, check. Toiletries. Aw, Drat. The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's Resort Hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. Yeah. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? My pom pom toy? <laughs> Not a bad idea. That's kind of like bringing the conductor on vacay with me. Uh, but, uh, this is hot. It's about time. Uh, if you're just watching, if you're watching me for the first time going through story quests on Honk Rest if you're watching it on YouTube later, or if you're watching this live right now on Twitch, I, I, after a while, I just start skipping Watch's lines. Her voice annoys the shit out of me. I, I, it's not that I, I like, I don't hate her character, but she just annoys me. She is the Paimon of the game, so if you play Genshin, you understand. I just do not, I just, am not a fan of her character. Any scenario where it's just her talking, I will read it and then just skip. Because I do not want to listen to her. Welcome to the edge. Turn off. All right, here we go. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention, all passengers. I don't know what it's about her, but she just speaks more loudly than others. It's so. Yeah. Even if the volume is the same, yes. Yeah. It doesn't matter. She speaks more loudly. Her voice is more whiny. It's literally the same as Paimon. So the Paimon voice actors were literally given directions to make themselves sound more annoying. That was like an actual voice direction over time, right? Was what they were told to be more annoying over time. And I have a feeling the same thing is happening with March. And I'm like, that's not okay. So. I wish you could mute Paimon, yes. I wish we had a specifically mute Paimon button. The train is about to make the jump. Rip all our voice files Five, out of the game. Four, Here we go. Three, Another jump. Two, one. Oh, I just saw a ton of previews of a bunch of different things. What? <laughs> right off the back, okay. Okay, that was unexpected. I was expecting maybe Black Swan or uh, maybe Sparkle. I was not expecting Acheron, like right off the back. Okay. Mm. Now, her English boy VA is the same English VA for Beto. Um, so I'm super, I'm super on this. Mm. Mm. Come with me. These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Real quick, I asked what her name was. And her answer had nothing to do with that. That 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 question was just completely irrelevant. Um, but that's fine. Her answers are irrelevant, apparently. Damn, she is. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. I like her voice. Sounds good. Sounds real good. Worry not. 
For very quickly, you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. I'm like, okay, so like, I'm just, you know, looking her up and down from head to toe. She is fucking awesome. Her design is so good. It's so good. So good. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Please do not make any reference to her in reference to that idiot fucking Sampo, okay? Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. <laughs> fucking Sampo. Thankfully, I already know that she has very little association, if any at all, because, yeah, she's a Galaxy Ranger. She's basically a Space Power Ranger. Wait, what was the other way? Hold up. I must know. Yeah. Basically, they're Rangers who serve the hunt, if I remember correctly. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Tell you can still remember. Yo, yo, this place looks so cool. Love it. This is uh, no way. This way. His voice sounds different. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? He still has the the. How is this even possible? Okay, that was disorienting. That was really disorienting. Not. I'm not gonna lie. She can hear the thoughts in my head. Why not? We're almost there. Can you still walk? I am um, become Trailblaze, the permeabilator of walls. This game is try tries really hard for me to like enjoy it with no with its pain. fucking dialogue this sometimes. I swear to God. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down, or up, for that matter. I looked up. I looked up several times. I look up. I look to the side. Wait, that's literally where we came from. That's so. That's so weird. These voices, they are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? Mm -hmm. All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Mm hmm. Uh huh. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you. Little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Interesting. Adventuring! And, uh, Dr. Ratio. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. He's kind of short. I wasn't expecting that. He's a short king. Okay. I'm okay with this. Sparkle and Black Swan. Why are they talking? Memo Keeper. Do you think you can just leave? Damn, she is tiny. But not like tiny like Bailu or something like She's just short. She's just short. That's it. I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. Okay. That's a different model then. I don't like that. This game's gonna make me sick. We're here. 
Yeah, we're here all right. I mean, damn. God damn. Hold the ace and trooper. Welcome to the reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. It's the quantum curse. Even Sela, Sela doesn't look that big true. <laughs> but before you do, I would make a request of you. Sure, anything, whatever you want. Whatever you want, whenever you want it, however you want it. You know what I'm saying? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Huh. I mean, all things considered that, you know, I used to work with Kafka, perhaps. I'm Mariska Band, but Akron could be Sambo's sibling. What? Why? What? What would make you think that? I could say the same thing about pretty much every character if it's just a baseless statement, similar attire, but it's not. Y'all are fucking crazy. Perhaps we have. You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? Interesting. I. Why was all that dialogue read? Forget things, which is why, rather than memories. I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Yep. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Mm -hmm. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? choice or not it doesn't matter mm. either I would disappear I would hmm. then if there was a vast dreamscape so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality there no one faces life's separations or deaths this is starting to sound like a Chia Madara's plan, I'm just saying. Lives joyfully ever after. Just saying, it sounds like uh, Infinite Tsukiyomi. I'm just saying, it sounds like an Infinite Tsukiyomi to me. I would ask, would you wish to stay? If I didn't have to pay any price, I would. It depends on the price I'd have to pay. I would never want to live in a dream. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I I like I feel like that's actually my response. I don't know. I don't know if I'd wish to stay. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately sounds yourself. like a very destructive ending. 
everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches. The vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, Uh, to the comment about HR3 or Genshin and all the other, like, go I don't really care about any of that stuff either. Like, a lot of people were like, oh, it's Raiden May, Raiden May, Raiden and Genshin, Raiden and, and Impact. I don't fucking care about any of that crap. I am not so attached to any character that I'm, like, that excited that there's another copy of the character in another universe. Like, it just doesn't matter to me. It's like the whole Himiko thing. I'm like, oh, cool, great. I don't care. Shut up about it, basically. It, it, it frankly, for me... It actually ruins the character more having so much attach to the character for no fucking reason because the, the character here has not done anything yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's like my biggest. That's my biggest thing on on all that. I don't. I don't. I've never met Raiden Mate. I never played Impact Third. Uh, if for some reason it get, it was to come to a situation where I needed knowledge of Impact Third to enjoy this game, that would be ridiculous. Um, same thing with Genshin. So. I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Yes. This is this is making me think of Final Fantasy XIV at this point. I would abandon it. The price is too dear. I would abandon it. I have already tasted the beauty of a dream. I would abandon it. Trail blazing was never my intent. I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. I mean, it's not inconsequential. Why ask the question? If it's inconsequential, Hearing, why ask the question? Touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? I seem to remember you from somewhere. I want to keep going down this thought process of I seem to remember you from somewhere. So. <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. Oh my god. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. I thought about Akavili and the fact that Hamika said there were three trailblazers who left on Panagoni. Hmm. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Interesting. When you make a choice, make sure it's one that you don't regret. Kafka when you make a choice I'm so here's the thing the game constantly gives you like illusion of choice but there are some quests like the Kafka quest as an example where you don't have the like it's not the illusion it really is a choice like you can actually for those who don't know during the Kafka quest you can actually just not do the quest you can just say nah and turn her into the ICP and then walk away um yeah that's it. It just ends the quest. You get you get your rewards and you, and you move on, basically. Or you get no rewards and move on, basically. If you tell her to prove herself, she'll send you a picture. All those other things. So, sometimes HSR does not have the illusion of choice. They actually do give you a choice, an option. So, who knows? Maybe they'll come back around with this red text. Or, like, at the very beginning of the game, you can get a game over. You can. How? I never heard about this. What you must do now is ponder its significance. 
that's what come from. Uh, and then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. You choose to stay on the space station instead of getting on the train, it's over? What? I don't remember that being a thing. Because, like, they tell you, hey, choose to go with him or not. And then when you go talk to Himiko, you just go. There's no instance where you can make a choice to, like, not go. It's not that I remember. I had dreamed of a tragic future. I may have dreamed of an old friend. I dreamed of a riddler spouting strange talk. I dreamed I was slashed by someone with a blade. I may have dreamed of an old friend. Let's go with that. Sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already. Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Fair enough. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pataconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Penacone streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Sure. Gear up and make sure you've thought everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. God damn it. Can we just have one quest without March? Could it just be Himiko and Welk? Ugh. You ready, March? <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Welt and Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Yay. Shall we go meet up with them now? Sure, Penicone, let's go. The planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. So, real quick though, uh, so without spoiling, like, leaking Akron's kit or anything along those lines, a lot of what I saw, what we saw there, and a lot of what she talked about kind of makes sense with what I have seen of her kit. I just want to throw that out there. Which is pretty cool. sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Well, they're inside of our bags. We know it's a little bit slower now. Thankfully, they didn't. The Stellaron is stable. The less of March, the better this quest will be. I will automatically, no matter how, like, this quest could be the best fucking quest in the entire game. But the more lines there are for March, I'm at least taking one, one off it. It'll always be only a nine, nine out of five, just because of March. <laughs> These are both stupid answers. A bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage. It sounds like I'm being overly critical. I'm doing it on purpose because, like, honestly, like, if if they're just gonna be, if they're gonna do bullshit, then I'm just gonna I'm gonna call them on the bullshit. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Please go ahead. Don't keep your friend. I didn't realize he had like key pupils. He has like a keyhole for his pupils. What the fuck? That's new. Like, I've seen some really interesting and strange 
uh, like pupils before on characters, but that that is new. That is very new. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he has like keyhole pupils. That is interesting. I know he has like a whole clockwork design, and he has like a time stop ability or something as his talent or his uh technique. That's interesting. He is interesting. That's interesting. Uh, also, talk to the hotel doorman for additional details about the hotel. The uh, Misha. Welcome to the reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. <clears throat> Should you need. Here, this hotel for you. Yeah, it is. Hmm. The reverie does not only provide accommodation for its guests, it is also connect. A good question. Maybe not all dreams are false. Well, the hotel. I'm reading faster than he's talking, basically. That's why I'm doing this. So don't. Uh, uh, are you asking me? Interesting. You'll know what I mean when you enter. Uh, yes, this hotel is Panacone in real life, and the Panacone in the dream. Um, uh, it's hard. To... Ah, you are well informed indeed. Everyone gathers in the hall, reveling in merriment, pursuing opportunity. May you have a pleasant stay. Cool. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? <laughs> We've just arrived and there's already drama? Yeah, Kafka's right here. She's just here. Killing kids or something. Wait, no, these are not kids. These are the, uh, uh, these are the, the Lalafell kind of like people. But they're, they're the Lalafell Moogle children. It's a crossbreed between a Moogle and a Lalafell. Yeah, not kids. Yeah, but not kids. Yeah. They're literally a crossbreed between Lalafell and Moogles. That's, that's how I, I mean they have the little the little the little palm that the Moogles have and then they're like short and tiny like a Lollafell, so they're just a crossbreed. What is with that pop in? The fuck? Game? Game? What <laughs> What is with that pop what is with that pop in? This place cannot be my my rig is not uh is a really good rig. What is that popping? What the fuck? What is what is that? What is going on? I don't, I don't, what the fuck is that popping? That's that's so bad. That's such a bad popping. Holy crap! Listen to full episode of General Space Chronicles. No one. Okay. I'm gonna do a bold bridge in the dream walk ability the first time. Cool. As you're there, you find yourself accompanied by someone unexpected. Encounter Akron in a strange dreamland. Wait, where did these people come from? There's so much pop in. I don't I'm like sorry, that. but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. And yes, I'm Mr. Don Hung reporting for duty. Sometimes it's funny. We've run into some trouble. Your name isn't on the hotel's reservation. No, nah, they didn't just... <laughs> what a... Okay, so this is funny because people always get mad that our name is never said or anything like Because we have a name. It's Kalis, right? Our name is never said. Nobody ever says it. They just call us Trailblazer or that guy or that girl or whatever your character is, right? It's so fucking annoying. But this is probably the most clever way I've seen this kind of shit used in the game where they're like... Your name's just not on the list. You just, you're not on the list, buddy. That's why we don't say your name. It's great. It's crazy. I love it. I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. But when we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. And the the, the side profile here of Himiko, I'm just saying. Oof. I even if 
that is so, I'm afraid. Show architects Lance. Show trailblazer profile. Just no, yeah. I'm not doubting your status. It's just. Well, it's just that right now we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. An Adventure read. Important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Dude, he looks so fucking cool. I fucking love this dude. This dude looks so awesome. Look at those eyes. Look at this dude. Look at this drip. You don't like him? Well, that's too bad. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to like him. I love him. He's great. Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last-minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. I'm not the hugest fan of the voice, but it's okay. Guests from the Astral Express. Please do not make it harder for her. We're sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for <laughs> quite a while. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, homie. Uh, we, we were blocking the line here. Don't worry. You know, we're just... You know, we just needed this space for Himiko's massive hair. <clears throat> Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us. <laughs> I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than ten minutes. Do you know how many credits ten minutes is worth to me? <laughs> it must be an inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. Ever the diplomat, him you yep. borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Mm -hmm. Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pentaconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort. Not a favor from you all. <sighs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends, especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. Uh -huh. I'm glad you have put it this way. So about the vouching. <laughs> there you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. <laughs> okay, we just have random people just walking up constantly being like, wait a minute, actually, wait a minute, actually. Okay. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Hmm. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. Dude, his design is so good. 
I mean, Along with the you know, renowned across the universe. Robin is hot too, but like, okay, I'm just gonna be real. I'm gonna level with everybody here, okay? The male characters in Honkai Star Rail are really well designed. They are, they are all like generally very badass, just very cool, very interesting designs for their characters. And they feel far more like diverse than like Genshin as an example. And some of the designs I've seen in other games that like gotcha games that have both male and female characters. I don't know. I, I, I like the male character designs a lot in HSR. He said you were the most dashing person in Penatoni. How interesting. Mm hmm I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests. Please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, did we just solve the problem? He did okay, whatever. You're... We're gonna go talk to Robin. Okay, yeah. You'd have to agree, yeah. Hello, friend. How have you been? I sincerely hope you don't mind. It's fine, I don't mind. I do mind. You know, I'm gonna be antagonistic. My apologies mind. for any perceived slight. To show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 <laughs> 10, credits, credits as a gesture of goodwill. You have no idea what friends are. That's better. What are friends without friction? <laughs> now, we're true. <laughs> no, I love this dude. This dude's great. No, that's great. Please excuse me. I have some matters nope, to Nope, that's fine. To. That's fine. So I must depart, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yep, soon. I'm gonna be an adventurer with adventuring. And that's that's hilarious. Does he actually give you ten? He actually gives you ten thousand. <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. I'm sorry. That's fucking hilarious, actually. My real life internal monologue. You know, it's funny. It's funny, Coop. I was thinking to myself. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, Coop was like, eventually kind of kind of reminds me of travel a little bit and uh so hearing you say that is hilarious and i can imagine i can imagine i can imagine you being like look i don't want any problems here take this now go away because i got things to deal with <laughs> i could definitely see you either doing it at the table or should even in real life that's that's fucking hilarious to me <laughs> i can't believe he actually is like here just take these credits and leave me alone kid <laughs> That's so badass. Oh, that's funny as well. I had to reload what happened. So if you go and talk to Adventuring over here, he's like, eh, don't take offense. And you're like, and you can say, I, I mind, you know, you take offense or whatever. And he's like, here, have 10 credits, bye. Or 10,000 credits, bye. And I was just like, I'm going to try to be antagonistic with him. And he actually gives you 10,000 credits. And I'm like, did I just sell my friendship for 10,000 credits? That's crazy. That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. No, 10,000 credits to fuck off. Yeah, basically. That was hilarious. But what do you what else do you expect of the IPC? So, I'm not a I'm not a fan of the voice, and I'm I'll be straight up honest, the reason why is they they made him his his voice sound and the way he comes across is a little fruitier than I expected from the character, but at the same time, I like it doesn't like bother me. Right, and that's not necessarily the reason why. It's just not what I expected from the character, basically. So that's why I could probably phrase that. But I'm okay. You know what? If Aventurine and the Trailblazer, male Trailblazer, you know, find a room later on, I'm okay with this. I have no problems with that. I like Adventuring. Um, and Sunday. Now let's find out what Robin's all about. March, don't lose your shit, please. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the... Yeah, I expect them to be more masculine. Yeah, I expect them to be a little bit more uh, masculine, but that's fine. It's all good. The singer at Salon Superstar. If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Okay, Rob. Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her and Man, everybody just flirting yeah. with everybody around here. Okay. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Peniconi, like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. 
Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. Her voice sounds familiar. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penacone. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Alley to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Why not? That's how high that's how the high society shit works. People get preferential treatment all the time. What do you mean? Come on, well, calm down. Please rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Pen And here's the other thing. Remember that the family, they're 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 basically mobs. They're basically a mob family, like just straight out. Like there's no if, and, or but about it. The, the live stream basically showed that Pentacony is just run by a bunch of mob families. It's it's lo it's a Las Vegas planet. It's a gambling era. It's literally it's all this 1920s theme. Like it is just mobs for days. Well, we can hit their Fire Emblem. No, it doesn't sound familiar. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penacony, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Yeah, I prefer behind the voice actor, that's usually better. Yeah, I know. None of these characters that she's done that I've seen before. So it just sounds familiar. She just sounds like other voices I've heard, probably. Not surprising. Oh, it's just one surprise after another. But since that Mr. Which day was he? Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's back Really, March? Class, Your name is March 7th. And you can't remember the dude's name is Sunday? Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Why are these things skipping around? I'm gonna call it one of things. It's weird. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <sighs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. No, it's all good. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream, save your favorite happy bits, and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. Okay, there was an NPC that walked across the screen. Um, that they gave her way too much hip sway, and my eyes just immediately gravitated in that direction. And I was like, what the fuck? It's like out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what the hell? Dream advisory. Before you officially enter the dream using the dream pool, please make sure you've already read the dream advisory. Maintain a calm mind. Tense emotional fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations when entering the dream, such as the sensation of falling, weightless or pain. 
Please enter the dream lying on your back. Please don't attempt to enter the dream while facing down, kneeling, or other positions. This will minimize the risk of drowning. Please do not drowning. Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. The breathing fluid in the dream pool is already fast acting sedative. Does not need external pharmaceutical assistance. If you cannot enter the dream despite having soaked in the liquid for a long time, please contact the hotel staff. Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as you how you entered. In order not to startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you have ensured that you are appropriately dressed. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. The family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. On behalf of the Oak Alf uh, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and the Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. Yep. Yep. During this present period, the Reverie Hotel in the Golden Hour dreams gets ongoing renovations. If you opt into the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel in the dreamscape. However, you'll be unable to leave the room and cannot use the hotel's regular services. We have designated a temporary process near the dream for guests so that you may successfully land in the Golden Hour. New handbook page unlocked the Reverie. Another thrilling trail blazer completed about the beginning. Which is, uh, more handbook pages again. Second, record your current feelings. Straightforward local tourist sessions. Slumber the day away within the room. Follow the passing currents of the pedestrians. You're using the recording function of your dream list. And get a page in your handbook. Cool. Let's add, let's add the dudes. And add Robin. She's supposed to be a character eventually for us. I think she's supposed to be Abundance or a Harmony character. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's off the top of my head. Cool. Oh, this is like a thing. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, no, there was a... To the AO, his MP. I think it was not even this one right here. I don't know. They're just uh, walking by. More like than I imagine. Can we really afford this building? And is this a side quest? My husband worked hard his whole life. Our man's on the sake of this trip. It's probably a side quest. I'm gonna grab it. I'm here. It's wrong. You're just thinking, you know, usually here somewhere. That's where I spent all these years. The name Charlotte, the dream artist. I had known this is this is where she must be. Come on, you mustn't give it to yourself and your father, you can tell me. Father, do you think do you think this trip really worth it? We, we used to know all the money we have to our name to find her. Plus, do you even think she'll be willing to come home with us? It's just like, she left us without even word. All these years have passed, and she has not even tried to contact us once. What's more, what's more, I feel like we are perfectly happy, just the two of us. If it weren't for these old fools, I would have almost forgotten my mother looked like by now. Sorry, I know how you feel. I said it's just that I had come... I had to come here. I love Charlotte. I love your mother. Now that I know where she is, so I had to find her even just to see her for a brief moment. Fair enough. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah. One of the NPCs walked by, and I was like, holy shit. Oh, thank God damn. I'm trying to see if I could just point out what I was talking about. Anything is possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep, that's that one. <laughs> there, was just, there was just way too much sway in that, and I was like, what the fuck? Animators on point out here. Animators know. This place looks so cool. What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait! Fancy a dreamscape shopping tour? Was that oh is that the chest? Oh it's the chest. Oh shit, there's there are chests here. Wait a minute, there was a chest back over there, I think. Let me run back around. Hold on a second. There's one over there. There's a chest right over there. They give Grand Duke and Illusionary elite pieces. Nice. I'm a little clock so I just. Yep. 
not available yet. Okay. Just to tell you, there's going to be a lot of places probably eventually. If there's not already a ton, obviously. Cool. Opening chests again feels nice. I know, right? It does feel nice. It's like, oh, chests. Awesome. Can't wait to run around and fight trash can dudes. I think trash can dudes are the trotters of this world or something like that. Very specifically in front of it, which is weird. <laughs> We've met our main cast so far, basically. The only characters we're missing now is, is Black Swan and uh, Sparkle. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? I mean, it's a, basically the biggest hotel on the planet. It's like the only hotel on the planet, right? It's like a big... It's a planetary hotel, right? It also... Also, remember that it may be a hotel, but if you pay close attention, the, rem the, the remnants of the fact that it was once a prison world shows based on the design, right? Like, look at this. This looks like a dystopian sort of prison housing area or something along those lines. If you take away all the glitz and the glamour and all that stuff, this looks like a prison. Like, I could very easily see that. It is literally set up to look like it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if behind the scene concepts they, like, drew Panacone as a prison first and then overlaid it with, well, Las Vegas. That was really created by the watchmaker and Liren enhanced into the current form by the family. They'll call it a clock. This thing cannot actually display the time. Only by abandoning the shackles of time can one fully enjoy and embrace their dream. Okay. More chests. More chests. They also made this quicker, I feel. Clock credits? Oh, that must be the uh, currency for this planet. More chest. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be streaming this again tomorrow, probably. Cool. Kafka, the Stellaron Hunter, is running around. Good music, too. Easy to listen to. VIP lounge. Oh, our first space anchor. Let's see. IPC. Pentaconi is full of living legends. We're finally okay. here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Well, how about a drink first? Pentaconi's soul glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. However... You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, 
The Express Engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Huh. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. Interesting. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penaconi, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. Yo, what if the watchmaker like invited a bunch of people, but didn't tell the family? Like, the family is like, I have no idea why all these people are showing up, but they are because they all got these invitations and well, um, you know, we just kind of, kind of have to deal with it now. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Interesting. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? Uh-huh. A bunch of people got these invites, but the family did not send them out. It's This watchmaker possible. did. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why, before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. So I was the only one kept in the dark then. <laughs> I just too found out about the invite thingy. Time to get involved. Ain't no biggie when Galactic Base. Oh, God. Uh, time to get involved. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penicone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. You know the best thing about that cutscene from beginning to end? And prepare to I'll give you guys one guess. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, you know one I should guess. probably talk to the rest. One guess. Should be really obvious why that scene was so good. March didn't say a damn thing the entire time. <laughs> okay, this poppin' is kind of bothering me. I don't know. I don't know what, why that is even there. But, oh, that's one. That's a nice dress. I was trying to, wait, is there a treasure chest back there? There is. Look at that. Bam. Okay, now I gotta run around more, see if there's any more. You know, wouldn't put a pass and then put two like that. Us people from planets. 
poppin'. Yep, there's a poppin'. Jesus. I don't like that. Not a fan. Alright, well, what's up? The decor in here is a little, uh, loud for my taste. So this is how Astral High Society does things, huh? Yep. They say he's a historically important figure in Penaconi, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars, but some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. I don't know, they're a mob family. Of course they treat everybody well. They're a mob family that run all the gambling and like all this other stuff. Like, of course they treat everybody well. So long as you're, you know, spending your money at Panacone, enjoying the dream, living the life, and you don't break any of their rules, you'll never find out that they're, you know, you know, cracking and breaking legs and throwing people in rivers in the background. Or, you know, you know what I'm saying? The dream Panacone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the Panacone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the... Uh, past the guest room's dream pool is the real Panacone. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or... I mean, if you want to help me find my room, Himiko, I'm not going to stop you if you know what I'm saying. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker, Penacone's household name and figure. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the watchmaker's or For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the watchmaker. His leg is... Wine time indeed, buddy. <laughs> An IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps. While keeping our guards up. The dream Panacone is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. As for me... I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trail. Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Where's March Sun? Has she returned to her room already? Good, because I don't want to talk to her anyways. Um, so real quick, something to something to um think about is all of the imaginary characters that we have are so Welt is the dude from another, you know, another universe with super cosmic power. Locha is a dude, possibly a, a, the dude from another universe with super cosmic power. Uh, Daniel is a dude with super cosmic power, right? Um, Dr. Ratio is super cosmic personality, super cosmic brain, L plus ratio, Genshin could never. Like, Dr. Ratio is actually a really cool character. Um, Yukong is a kind of a retired badass character, right? All the imaginary characters have, like, this theme in common where they have very, like... There's far more to these characters than meets the eye, basically, right? Let's, they tap into the, the, I once read or watched a Honkai video that talked about like the universe and like its core, right? And everything in, in the existence between all three games is made up of imaginary energy. That's kind of the whole idea and concept. And so any character that has that as like, their elements and power to me is always going to be interesting. So, adventuring being a preservation imaginary character, I'm super excited for uh, for what's what's behind all that uh, all that cockiness. I want the optionals. Damn you. 
I'm just gonna walk in when she's in the bathtub. Okay, cool. I can't sleep from all the excitement, huh? I can't wait to experience the dream world. Oh, that's right, because the, the 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 dream thing is like a bath. Uh, the moment of dusk, obviously. Hmm. After doing my shopping, you know it's weird. Well, noticed it too. About how m could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Bet, bet, calling it now. Robin is actually Sparkle in disguise. Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation, but nope. This event is a wild ride. The very who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, all those things are gonna happen. March is uh, always right when it comes to this. I'm actually fine with Daniel not being a part of this because let's be honest, he was like a huge part of the Why last is my one. my room door open? And, you know, I, I made a joke earlier about, you know, adventuring and the drill blazer, you know, kicking it back in the room and, you know, if things happen, things happen. I made that joke earlier, but you know what? Apparently, apparently wasn't so much of a joke. Wasn't wasn't so much of a joke. Apparently, uh, adventuring's, uh, adventuring's here. All right. He's... What's up? How fortuitous. <laughs> We meet again. How fortuitous? You're literally in my room. <laughs> what do you mean fortuitous? You literally set this up. Can't call it fortuitous when you literally broke into my room, buddy. We meet again, friend. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Gage, I'm okay with this. This is my room. What are you doing here? <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. Damn, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So they upgraded our rooms and they just took away Adventurine's room. Because fuck the IPC, that's why. Damn, they literally gave me this man's room. <laughs> wow. Lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went. Oh wait, no, he gave it to me. Space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well. Well, if there's an assassination attempt, we know they're after entry, not me. You were the one who transferred it to me. You were the one who arranged the check-in. Right, you need to leave. Of course. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? No, not really. Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Damn. So his voice, he sounds, I'm just, I'm just gonna say it, he sounds like a valley girl. He sounds like a, a male trying to do like a oh my god kind of accent. That is that is what he sounds like. That's why it bothers me because it's just like, why? <laughs> Yeah, yuppie. Like, I just don't... I don't know. It's it's just... It's it's hard to take seriously. Because he's supposed to be an intimidating character, I feel. I feel like he's supposed to be an intimidating character. But his voice just does not make him intimidating. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Sure. Cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, 
you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. I will say this, every line, I, I, it like, it's initially jarring, but the more you like, you're getting in the conversation and he's definitely drawing me in to whatever the fuck he's saying right now. So it is it is it's good. It's good. Like I said, it wasn't what I expected, but I still I still like it. Even though it's hard to take him seriously sometimes. Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm warning you, you need to leave now. I'm warning you, you won't like me when I'm angry, Stellaron. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna deny it. Why deny it? Cause you just told me, I swear to god if he says that. <laughs> I know now. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. as soon as I said it. I was like, he's gonna be like, I know now. <laughs> Dick. I love this character. I hate this character, and I love this character so much. I fucking knew it. I knew it. God damn it. Uh. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will. He's the same mind as me. Again. I thought he was a little bit shorter, but that's roughly the same height. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well, or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion, because I... it will also show me your true value. Oh, I definitely plan to use you eventually. I want your banner already. Come on. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end, so I hope that friends don't let me down. I'll think about it. <laughs> Very well. Also, I just love his drip. Love that coat. Oh, yes. Before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? Oh? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because... Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. Where'd the glasses come from? No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> okay, cool cutscene. Really cool cut. I love the way they have drip. They basically use the beginning of this quest to drip market Acheron and Adventure and like, who are you gonna pull for, pull for more? Who has more sexual tension with the main character? Who are you gonna pull for? God damn it. Oh, uh, that was actually a good shot. That actually, that that yeah, that was a good um, that was um was a good way to showcase his character a little more. I love this character. I absolutely love this character so much. <laughs> I love Ventry. And I yeah, no, I'm right there with you. I said it. I said it months ago. I was going to say it. I saw a leak of his picture and everything like that. I saw what he was and I was like, I'm going to love this character. I know it. And I have I've been 100% about that since he's stepped on the scene. I love this character. <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long. You already know how to rope people into your cause. I'm okay with this. I, I want both of these characters. These are the next two. Both of these characters are the next two banners coming out. Um, oh. 
Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs. I'll have to pull for a venturing on your account, uh, Trav. Right. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like keeping your door closed. <laughs> keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. I mean, I'll probably pull from him on mine too. I, I I intend to, but I'll probably pull for him on your account then. Because you don't have another preservation character other than Japard on that account, so it would be actually pretty good to have another a good preservation character. Thank you. Have we met somewhere? Why haven't you left? Because this is my room. Eh. I said, why haven't you left? <laughs> I just take it easy. This is indeed your room. I was just passing by. Why is her time so her dialogue in red? I'm trying to find my own room too, and I heard a commotion here, so I came to take a look. Luckily, your door was open, or it could have gotten dangerous. That man looked like he was up to no good. Anyway, as long as you're all right, I should return to my room too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know. I wish to know. Mm -hmm. Have we met somewhere before? Uh huh. I was about to ask you, perhaps in a dream. Probably not. Whoa, deja vu. I was about to ask you. Yes. It was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. A blink of a thought in my head. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. You forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Mm. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. She said this last time. Okay, so red, okay, so red dialogue, it looks like things that she has said before or will say again perhaps or something similar because she said this exact line before i feel like it's going to come up i think i think it shows up so that you it like it might be in red so that you definitely try to remember these lines lastly uh, it'll matter later reminder. perhaps there are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith even unto death and they do not wield such conviction for good and on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. I don't have a problem One who with this. wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Mm. Mm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the That's same. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Makes her dramatic exit, stops, comes back. By the way, where's the lobby? <laughs> kind of love her character, too. Then they, she thanks you again and again. <laughs> again and again. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions. New sticker. You can make them bigger. Oh, that's cool. And smaller. 
sounds cool. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Very soon, all your dreams will leap forth before you. All right, here we go. You approach the room and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room. Fragrance permeating the air together. These two elements envelop you in their embrace. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious, reminiscent of ripened fruits in a distant ocean, painted by the hues of setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. Lie down in the dream pool. You curl your body, lying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid raises, rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. The wild wind rustles through the barren plains, while nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. This is kind of cool. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. Giggling? No, crying. What is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? <laughs> You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. Damn, I love Dr. Ratio. <laughs> it's like, dude. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's great. It seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Doratio is oh, it's like the best. He is, he's fucking awesome. Yeah, sorry, King Yuan, but Dr. Ratio is just, just on another level. Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. Uh. Well, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sagonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? Well, he was tells an elaborate. How the adventuring stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sagonian thrall sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that a serial number your neck? A cherished memento from the Amber Lord. Interesting. <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Penacone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate. Perhaps Penacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being either like the Mask Fool's ploy. But I wouldn't be surprised if it actually just all comes down to the Stellaron Hunters again. Or someone else made the invite. 
and they acquiesce to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? Rishi, ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian no, upbringing? Doesn't move during the scene. It's awkward. <laughs> then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Damn. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Well. I did not mean No, to. Dr. Rage is like, I didn't mean to fan. Nah, dude. Duh. He's using that as a shield. No, don't fall for that shit, Ratio. Yeah, it sucks, but no, 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 no. He's using that. He's he knows how that would affect people. He's using that as a shield. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Abjans. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Mitri is a snake. Oh, 100%. 100%. But you know what's weird? The difference between him and Sampo, because Sampo's kind of a snake too. I just did not like Sampo from minute one. Just minute one. I was like, I do not like you. I don't like your character. I don't like your jokes. I don't like your position in the story. You just irritate me. At least with Adventure, and I find him entertaining. Let's see. I don't find Sampo entertaining. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern. Is it like Sampo instead of Sampo or something like that? Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt... He's not there. Help me look into her. Dr. Ratio was not standing there, but... Huh? Yep, I knew it. <laughs> oh, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my Yo, I'm gonna have to go in this room. Whatever room you're in, eventually, I'm gonna have to go in that room, because uh, you got a chest in there, buddy. I'm gonna have to go to Adventurian's room. Just to get the chest. So this That's it. is... 